Right, so we're going to start off, grab your towel. We're going to do 10 overhead squats. Once you've done, you're going to put your left foot, half a foot in front of your right, run your left hand down your left leg, and then open up to the ceiling 10 times on each side. When you've done 10, change, you go, change it over. Good. So next we're going to do our bird dog. So kick your right leg back and your left hand forward. Meet the hand to the knee and out ten, ten times each side. When you've done, we're going to go straight into five walkouts. So out to that press up position and then back up to standing. Just five. Once you've done your five, I want you to add a press up at the bottom. Good stuff. Okay, so I want you to take your towel and we're going to mobilize the shoulders. So go as wide as you need to and all the way up, over and back 10 times.
Then when you've done, it's 10 over to the left. Then it's 10 over to the right. Take your kettlebell or whatever you've decided to use as your weight. Ideally kneeling down because it challenges the trunk a little bit more. And we're going to go around your head five times there and back. So that would be one. So, here's our first circuit of three exercises. Number one is 10 press-ups, or as close to, you, to it as you can. If you need to drop to your knees, that's totally fine. Okay. Number two is a high row with the kettlebell, but you're going to use your towel, thread it through. Uh, Charlotte, with the two dumbbells you've got, you could just pull them to your chin, do it with one in each hand. Um, and then from there, what we do, yeah, we take hold of the towel. Let's go bring my camera up a little bit. And we come just under the chin for 10 reps, okay? Our final exercise is a squatted, Shoulder raise, so you drop deep into your squat, you come up, oh, hold on, I get my towel on, tangled, from the squat position, keep the tension on the towel, up overhead and back down, keeping in a deep squat position the whole way. Has everyone got that okay? Cool. All right. Just gonna bring my screen down so you can see my press ups. Make sure I'm not cheating. And when you're ready, let's go.
Well done, team. How are we all feeling? Good. Give you a little break and then we'll go again. Grab a water if you need to. Twenty seconds. Right, are we all ready? See some thumbs up. Good, right, let's go. How are we all feeling? Are you okay? Shoulders burning? <laughs> all right guys, got another 10 seconds. Is everyone about ready? Let's go. Good, well done team. How are we all feeling? Got one more set in you?
Now you've got 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, my balance. Okay, well done team. How are we all feeling? So, let me go over our next three exercises. <laughs> Bring me one while you're on it, Paul. <laughs> right, um, where are we at? Cool, so for this one, I'm gonna raise my camera up a little bit because a lot of this is standing. So, take your kettlebell or your weight or whatever you're using, and we're gonna do around the world five on one side so I'll show you so you're gonna hold it up five all to the right so you're just gonna keep going to the right five times and then when you've done if you've got the headspace I hope I have you press over the head and you run your left hand down your left leg keeping an eye on that kettlebell as low as you can and back up that's one you do five, so five round to the right, five what we call windmills, and then we do five, which way did I go? It always gets me. To the left, and then five windmills on the left. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah? Cool. You could do this with your dumbbell, with your kettlebells, ideal, but if you've got like a rucksack with a handle, that works just as well. All right? Let's go.
I'm going to pause and start the recording. You can't quite see me, can you? Put the laptop back in because it could. Right, let's go then. Round the world five times towards the right. Good stuff. Grab a water if you need to, guys. Thirty seconds, and we'll get our last set in. I'll give you a little bit longer rest for these because they demand a little bit of a uh, little bit of technique. Can't just kind of pound them out. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Let's go. Well then, team.
Right, so I'll demo this next one. I'm going to do it without the kettlebell and then I'll do it with when I do the actual exercise because I don't want to kill myself just yet. So what you're going to do, if you remember, oh, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to lower my laptop screen. All right. So if you remember from our get-ups, what we did the, a week ago or two weeks ago, I can't remember now. So you're going to have your right leg bent in and your right hand up to the ceiling. So you're going to hold the kettlebell in, or dumbbell in your right hand. And what I want you to do is press one, then up to the elbow, up to the hand, and then press again, and then back down. So that's one. Hold on, my phone's just no. Okay, and then up. That's two. So we're going to do three reps, three, um, three of those on each side. So you'll do six presses with one arm, okay? So change the weight accordingly. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah? Cool. Right. Grab your kettlebell. So start at the top and it's press, press. How's everyone feeling with that? Anyone really struggle? Left shoulder. Is it like an injury or just like a discomfort? Okay. Um, stick within your pain threshold. Um, do what you can. If it still hurts, then send me a message and I'll give you a, um, an adaptation for it. The last thing I want is for you to go away with a shoulder injury. It's no good. <laughs> so just let me know if you need anything adapting. So for this one, we're gonna add a little bit to the movement, but we're just gonna do one on each side, okay? So you might need to go a little bit lighter on your weight, depending on how you found that. You start here, we do our press up to our hand, press again, and then we go to our half get up, and it's a little bit awkward with the elbow, but we press again, and then we come back down. So here, press all the way to the floor, press, and then change sides. Has everyone got that? Everyone happy with the movement? Yeah, <laughs> we'll just do one on each side. Uh, Paul, if the shoulder hurts, just do it with no kettlebell because it'll still be a good core and coordination move without loading up the shoulder, okay? Cool, right, just one on each side. Let's go.
How's everyone feeling? Right, so for this next one, we're going to finish off the movement. So from here, we press, 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 let go of the floor, close up the hips are in a lunge. I know you can't quite see, but here you press again, then up to your feet, which when we do it, I won't be able to change the camera, so you won't see it. But when you're stood up, you press again, then we take it back down. So down to kneeling, press, press, I'm gonna change the camera again. Press, press, and then finally, press. So, there's a few presses in this in various positions. Uh, make sure you've got a weight that you can handle uh, and it's not gonna throw you around or cause any shoulder problems. Everyone happy with that? So just one rep on each side. All right, let's go. Right, uh, when you've done, onto the other side. Great. Two shoulders are burning a little bit. Good. Right. Uh. Hold on one second. So, what we're going to do is press ups. And after all that pressing we've already done, it's going to be a little bit tough, but I think you can get through it. So, it's going to be passing it along. I'm going to do five press ups, then I'm going to stop. And the second I've stopped, you do your five. And then I go again when everyone's finished. Okay, now when you've done your press ups, I want to see, well I can see the two guys, but Charlotte when you're done I want you to pop your head in the picture so I know you're all done. Um, so I'm going to set a timer for a minute and we're going to do a minute of me doing five, you doing five and uh, we'll see see how we get on. If you need to drop to your knees, it's totally fine. It's going to be interesting after uh, all of the pressing we've already done. All right, I'll go first.
And that's your minute. How are you feeling? Not too bad? Medium out of 10? <laughs> A one. Cool, right. Oh, hold on, my phone's trying to talk to me. Okay, right, now, this next minute, we're gonna take it down to four, which seems easier, because there's less rest, reps, but there's also less rest, so. I'll go first. Yes. Good, and rest. Well done. How are we feeling? <laughs> Medium. All right, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. And then what we're gonna do is two each, okay? So I do two, you do two, I do two. So there's fewer reps, but also less rest as well. So we'll see how we get on. Anyone feeling it already? I definitely am. Press ups are not my forte. Right, 15 seconds. Five, four. Right. Guys, 15 seconds left. Five. Let's do one more each. And rest. Good. Well then team, I'm going to stop the recording, take you off.